a luxurious fifth wheel with an incredible floor plan and can fit in every single national park. Let's go take a look. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the honey badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. This is a Forest River Flagstaff Classic 8529 RLBS. Now the way I do these walkthroughs is there isn't a lot of jump cuts or editing. Uh, there's not a lot of sound effects. It's just me talking and showing you the fifth wheel. Now normally I do a full walk around, but the highway that's right next to the dealership, Highway 160 here in Nevada, is just full of traffic, it being the holidays. So I'm only gonna do the front half, otherwise you're just gonna get drowned out. So it has two power awnings, frameless windows, and one of the cool things that they do, besides prep it for backup camera, is they actually give you this storage rack on the back that can flip down, put your barbecue, uh, maybe some storage items, storage containers you can bungee down. The other thing that I really want to point out is it has a auto level system and this pass through storage that is wider and taller than most. And I'm going to zoom in real quick. It also has a water filtration system that can be built in. So you can change the filter in and out through that container right there. Now it also has a black tank flush, an outside shower. There is no generator, but it does come with two propane tanks. They're five gallon propane tanks. And if one, one other thing on the outside I wanna point out to you, just walking over here, besides the outside speakers, you also have this rail right here. Now on this rail, I want you to imagine that a table slides onto there and you can put a grill on top with your LP disconnect. So your quick connect right down there. I'm gonna zoom in real quick. See that yellow little cap right there? That's your propane quick connect. All right, let's go inside. First, before we go inside, I always show people the stickers. Real quick, right here, this is 36 feet, two inches. So you can get into any national park you want to. It also is 10,304 pounds dry. It'll have a 14,000 pound GVWR. So it is three quarter ton towable. If you got a F-250, even gas F-250, you can tow this vehicle. Now it does have day and night shades. I have the night shades down right now, but right now I'm just gonna open up this window and show you that you have your daytime shades as well. That's on every single window in the living room. Going here, we have a couch, theater seating, booth dinette. So between the couch, which is a fold-out couch, a fold-out full bed, and the dinette, you could sleep three to four people inside the living room. So if you got a couple of guests, they are more than welcome to crash out with you. Or if your spouse snores, you can kick them to the couch. Or the theater seat, you know, get in a recliner and pass out like a baby. That's how I like to do it, right? Now, one thing I want to point out is like the Crusader I filmed earlier this month, they opted in to have the bigger windows instead of the cabinets above the theater seat or above the booth dinette. What they do give you though is the drawers. And if you've seen other videos of mine, I prefer to have the drawers than the cabinet door. To me, it's just easier access and more convenient. You may lose storage, but to me, just my professional opinion, I'd rather have the easier access with the drawers than the more storage. Let me know what you think in the comments section. By the way, if you enjoy the way I do these walkthrough videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Going up top here, we're gonna open up the cabinets. So you got really good storage above the couch. This has become a trend and a norm throughout every single brand built. If you find one without it, let me know. But 99 times out of 100, every fifth wheel brand is gonna have cabinets above the couch. To me, that's a smart idea. You got the fireplace, so we're gonna sit right down here and we're gonna open up the recliner. And we're gonna zoom in on the boots. 
the fireplace and the big screen TV. Very, very convenient. You also have a sound bar and radio that is Bluetooth capable. Above the TV, you have your normal storage for your DVDs, CDs, video games, etc. You also have good cabinet space. My only complaint is you got to put a shelf in here. To me, this is a waste of space without the shelf. It's not like you're going to put a pot in there. It's too skinny. But personally, if I bought this, I would add the shelf there. You got your adult beverage area. Big microwave. Same thing on this side, I would add that shelf. You got your normal three burner stove. Whoops. Of course, why would I not get that right? All right, up here, you got your plug-ins on each side. Blender, stuff like that. You also have your oven. Pizza type of oven, I guess you call it. That's better. Having the shelf there is much, much better. And then deep drawer underneath. And then we're gonna stand up, and do a little Blair Witch Project for a minute. And show you all the drawers. Oh, I got that stuck. The only thing I don't like about these Loctite drawers is sometimes they get off track and you have to close them. Nice for not having an open while you're going down the road, but it can be inconvenient. I like the cabinet here because you can fit some pots and pans inside that drawer around the island. And same thing here, you can put some pots and pans under there as well. Downside. The prep space on the island is not as big as some. Again, that's because they had to cut something down. I do like the fact that they did put plugs here, so if you want to blend something or mix something with a mixer, you can do that here on that prep area. I do, of course, everybody knows, if you've never seen me before, I love the one-piece sink. Yes, give me a one-piece sink, people. I like tortilla soup and chili. If you've seen me before, you know I love that. You need a big pot to do that. You can't clean a pot that size in a divided sink. Happy about that. This they did right as well. I think you got a lot of options with what you store inside the pantry. They also give you the trash can as well. The doors are heavy duty and you have more cabinet space above. We're gonna move a little bit quicker now. Again, area, tall pots, tall pans. You got so much options in this kitchen. Extra prep space with another plug more storage, more drawers. You, you could, you, if you're getting the sense that you could full time in this floor plan, you would be right. To me, great, great floor plan to full time and visit national parks across the country. The US, Canada, big shower, small linen area, or at least smaller than most, but at least it's still there. Medicine cabinet is decent counter space around the sink in the bathroom. Decent. Let's sit down the toilet. That's okay, not bad. Toilet paper, paper towels. And the shower, you can sit and wash your feet, shave your legs. A lot of options there. And even though the toilet looks tight, I just sat down, it doesn't feel that claustrophobic. Going into the bedroom, you have your second air conditioner. So this is a two AC unit, it has solar. Uh, it also has an inverter in it as well. Walk around queen bed. That's a full walk around bed with nightstands. We all know what I think of the uh, lovely uh, mattress. You know, it's built by a company called Sorta. Sort of a mattress. Washer, dryer, hookup, it's prepped for. You also have lots of closet space as well for hangables, shoes, clothes. And they also give you a secondary closet that you have lots of options with. And finally, the drawers. One, two. So to me, Flagstaff is one of the better built small fifth wheels. And as we go through these drawers, in the top right-hand corner of this video, if you wanna see another walkthrough, 
it's right there. Thank you so much. RV stands for toolkit and sense of humor.